big news for investor and tech enthusiasts. Palantir is leaving the NYSE on the 26th of November and release itself on the Nasdaq Global. So, what does this mean to investor and why is this move? Palantir Technologies, traded under the ticker PLTR, is an innovative AI-driven software company, which is also a controversial stock and all-time favorite to the retail investor in 2024, as its price has soared over 290% year to date, which is one of the top performers in the S&P 500. With the potential to be added in the Nasdaq 100, the buzz around Palantir is getting louder ever than before. Quick disclaimer, this is not a financial advice. Do your own homework before investing. Palantir transited itself into Nasdaq Global, which is a strategic move to align itself to be eligible to be included in the Nasdaq 100 index. This index is the collection of 100 largest and most actively traded stocks, including Apple, Nvidia and Microsoft. Being part of this index, it seems to be a badge of honour for innovative and high growth company. It is not just about symbolic, but it provides more visibility to attract investors and easier access to be included in the tech focus index like Investco QQQ and even cost saving due to Nasdaq lower listing fee. Let's discuss why is it now a good time for Palantir to be released on Nasdaq Global. Joining a Nasdaq 100 is not automatic. To be eligible, the companies must meet certain strict criteria, including market capitalization, in which Palantir has over 149 billion market caps, make it a strong candidate. Liquidity, the company must demonstrate consistent trading volume. Financial stability, for which Nasdaq 100 prioritizes company with strong revenue growth something Palantir has already achieved so far given its strong demand from the government contract and commercial companies. Stock added to the index usually able to perform well due to its visibility. Historical trend, in the past 10 years, stock added to the Nasdaq 100 have surged between 11 to 17% after the inclusion. If eligible, Palantir could be added as early as December 2024 when the index is rebalanced. Now, let's understand why is this important to Palantir. Let's revisit its business model. The company is an AI analytic company founded in 2003. Before going public in 2020, the company is said to have secretly handling critical tasks from the government agency. Palantir has two flagship products, Gotham and Foundry. Gotham empowers government agencies to combat terrorism fortify national security and streamline defence operation. While Foundry is a powerhouse for commercial clients, enabling them to harness data-driven decision-making, optimise production and avoid supply chain disruption. What set Palantir unshakable is its tie with the government agencies, its advanced AI analytic platforms, and its reputation for tackling problems. At the start, Palantir works come mainly from the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, the NSA, National Security Agency, and even CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. It is said that the company has helped to track the terrorist Osama bin Laden and recently played a pivotal role in Ukraine defense strategy. Critics argue that Palantir depends a lot on government contract for its business model, make it very vulnerable to political shift, while supporter points to its advanced AI innovation solutions to support commercial clients. If you're travelling like me in Japan right now or planning your winter trip, you will want to hear this. With WISE, you can now get a free debit virtual card to save in your digital wallet. That's perfect for international travel. You can spend in yen, euro or dollars using the real-time exchange rate at low conversion fee. It is also super secure where you can block your card instantly for any suspicious activity if necessary. Sign up with my reference link in the description for a smarter and smoother travel. In 2024, the company reported a 30% revenue growth due to the strong demand of AI analytics. Its quarter 3 earnings release, both of its revenue and earnings per share have beat the market estimate. 
The concern is always about its high valuation in the P-E ratio of over 300. Some analysts argue that that is overconfident in its future outlook. The move to Nasdaq is not only about a symbolic but reflects its ambitions to redefine itself to be a leading technology company, not just a defense contractor. Being included in the Nasdaq 100 index is definitely going to bring more visibility and bring in more investment to the company. Forrester Research recently recognized Palantir as a leader in AI platform with the market forecasted to grow at an impressive 41% annually through 2028. Here's an interesting question. Will Trump new administration could make Palantir future even brighter? Historically, the company has thrived under the Republican administration by securing massive government contracts for defense and AI initiative. As we are expecting Trump to spend more in the AI initiative and security, which is the area that Palantir already excels. So what is next for Palantir? The relisting on Nasdaq has already bring up the buzz around this company. The potential inclusion in the Nasdaq index bring both risk and reward. While the company financials look promising, it is important to look at the valuation and be cautious of the shifting market dynamics. What do you think? Will Palantir soar higher or if it's already overvalued? Will you buy the stock, hold or sell at this point? Do you think Palantir is eligible to be included in the Nasdaq 100 index? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Give this video a like and subscribe to our channel to support. See you again in the next one.